The United Nations Children's Fund, commonly known as the UNICEF, has collaborated with prominent music artists and actors from the West and Central Africa to unveil a new song entitled No More Zero Dose, aimed at retrieving child's childhood immunization effort. During the song launch, the country's representative for UNICEF in Nigeria, Christian Modenet, expressed concern that more than 2 million children remain unvaccinated, emphasizing that every child is entitled to a healthy beginning and access to a life-saving vaccine. Details in this report. The evening commemorates World Polio Day with a celebratory musical performance that powerfully calls for action. Representatives from UNICEF in Nigeria, Western Central Africa, and the Lagos State Government emphasize the urgent need to reach unvaccinated children and protect them from preventable diseases. Yet, in Nigeria, we still have 2.1 million children that are zero dose, meaning they have never ever received one dose of vaccine. And this is something that should call our attention and should call our energy to come together. And this uh, inspiring song has a clear message to us all. This song will enable us to spread the message widely. We need to go from zero dose to one dose to the first dose. With nearly 4.3 million children in the region lacking access to vital vaccines, the No More Zero Dose song delivers a rousing call to action through the medium of music. The incidence of polio and other vaccines preventable diseases. The last recorded case of polio was a historic victory symbolizing the resilience, dedication, and collaboration of stakeholders from the government to international organizations, healthcare workers, and local communities. Immunization remains one of the most effective public health strategies, and polio eradication is a testament to what is possible when communities come together with shared purpose. Today's launch of the immunization song and the immersive experience provides a powerful platform to engage more people in this critical mission. Music has a unique way of transcending boundaries. The uplifting song features 12 of the region's top musicians and UNICEF advocates, including Kate Henshaw, Waji, Cobhams, Ali Nuru, and Timmy Dakolo, delivering a powerful message. Every child deserves access to life-saving vaccines. The celebrity performers further expressed a passionate commitment to this important campaign. Well, my collaboration with UNICEF actually stems back a couple of years. Um, we obviously started with For Every Child, uh, which was in response to Nigeria being part of the Child Rights Charter. And then, of course, during COVID, some of you probably remember, wash your hands, love each other, we go we know. It's my job, my career, my fame, whatever comes with it, and not impact. So th that's why I do what I do. That's why it was very important for me to be part of this project. And I'm a mom, too. That the song can be used by everyone who hears it. It's easy on the ear, um, and the message is straightforward. I think it's a song that will be enjoyed, and everyone can sing. And I believe that in, in, in this society where we live, yeah, it's already hard being a human being. Like a full, grown, healthy, walking human being. To let people fall on this other side is not fair. In recent years, the Western Central Africa region has grappled with multiple outbreaks of vaccine preventable diseases. However, by fusing vibrant musical sound with messages of hope, love and protection, these artists aim to inspire listeners to join the movement to safeguard the well-being of every child. Justin Nakadonye, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.